What's up, my pilots? Angry Poncho here, and we're back playing Minecraft Hardcore. You have my apologies for the derptastic lack of planning in the previous episode. I assure you we will be more directed this time. Now, what I want to do is to create a mine shaft that is a diamond-producing mine, and I want to do so... Did I use up all my iron? Really? Whoa. Oh no, what am I doing? Okay. Uh, what I want to create is a diamond-producing mine shaft that is close enough to my reed farm that the reeds will grow. And we made a short start on this last episode when we were starting our shaft down there. So I'm going to need food, yes, pickaxes, ladders, torches are good. I think I might need a little bit more ladders than that, but what I'll do is I'll just bring some wood with me, and if we need more, we can make more. Make a workbench and everything. All right. That looks good. That's all I'm going to need. <clears throat> Let's get down there. So as you can see now, I'm not helicoptering the reeds anymore, but we can go ahead and move this guy over here. Why not? Now, if, you, if, you know, if you've liked me on Facebook, link in the description, you already know that I'm, I'm planning a Minecraft science video to come out tomorrow. And I intend to... Uh, what's the word? I intend to publish it tomorrow. Hopefully, it's not going to come out today. Unfortunately, we couldn't. I couldn't get it all put together <clears throat> in time to do it today. But alas, tomorrow shall suffice. I did, I've been doing a lot of experimenting on reeds and their behavior, and things you can and can't do with reeds, and what affects their growth times, and what their growth time is, etc. So I will be dispelling some myths, and I will be confirming others, and etc. It's going to be fun. So, look forward to that video. It's not going to be part of this uh, series. It's going to be its own series. Or, not its own series. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I can't decide if I want to put it in my World of Minecraft series or not. It doesn't really belong there, I don't think. But, you know, I do what I can. It's not certainly not going to be a part of this hardcore series. But yeah, enough about that. So, like I say, our goal in this episode is to get a, mi a diamond-producing mineshaft going, and right here should be close enough to our reed farm that the reeds are still in a loaded chunk, and therefore will be growing for us. And that is exactly what we want. We want to be able to be down here cultivating, oh, what appears to be a ravine. A ravine I've already been in. Oh, well, this is convenient. <laughs> okay, cool. I can deal with that. Cultivating a mine shaft while our reeds are growing back above us, so we can be making progress on our future enchanting table. Kaboosh. Very nice. Alright, now, um, I do not want that, that to be like that. I want... Alright, first of all, workbench. I'm just going to put it here, why not? And I'm going to make a door for this spot, because I do not want it to be open, because that is a big... Ah, wrong way. Balls. That is a big weak spot for our mine shaft. Okay, I need to get up and out there if I'm going to change that. Sorry, I'm a little bit phlegmy today. It's just... I, I, was, I was feeling like this yesterday, too. I don't know what's causing it. <clears throat> I've been, uh... I don't have a sore throat or anything. It seems like I only really get all phlegmy when I start recording. So let me apologize in advance for the disgusting hacking noises you're, you're likely to detect in the background. What can I say? 39. Alright, good. We need to get down to 32, so it looks like we're going to have enough ladders. Our ladders actually should put us right in the middle of diamond territory. Oh, there was one thing I forgot. I have my buckets, but I forgot to fill them with water. Is there any water in that ravine out there? Well, uh, I guess we'll just have to do that in a later step. I'm not going to go up for more water right now. Heck, I could find some down here. It's certainly possible. Although, they would likely be single source blocks at this depth. You don't really get lakes down here, do you? Although, I could run into an ocean, as unlikely as that might be. Uh, yeah, from where we are on the map, I doubt we'll be hitting any oceans anytime soon. Now, I'm mining without a whole lot of care here, which could result in my untimely death if I'm not... if I'm very unlucky. But I don't... I don't think I'm going to die from lava popping out of a wall. But if I do, that would be a pretty epic way to die. 
got 12 more ladders, so that's how much farther we're going to go. <laughs> and then at the bottom, like I say, I'm going to put that water catching pad, basically that landing pad, and that should suffice to protect us from a little long fall. Gosh, I'm really moving down this mine shaft. I'm impressed with how quickly this is going. Okay, good. I was worried that this would take the whole freaking video to do this, but it's going by quite swiftly. Do water ladders still work? I, I'd heard, I, I, got, I got a suggestion in the comments to do one of those to speed up going up and down these, but I don't know if they still work. Uh, particularly with the ladders without hitboxes here in 1.1. Two and three. All right, that's the end of the ladders. So that's as deep as we're going. Down to eighteen. That seems about right. Because sixteen would be the middle of this territory. So now we mine in whatever direction we please. I suppose I could do four branch mines. Oh, if I'd planned this better, they would have been in a nice spiral shape. In fact, let's make them a nice spirally shape just to make me happy. Or actually, oh, I know I don't want one next to balls to it. <laughs> no symmetry here. So we'll just put in just enough so that we can see where they're going to go here. Just to get the idea for ourselves. Don't know why I took that block out. That was an accident. Alright, looks good. No lava pockets immediately, at least, so... These are the four mine shafts that we will start exploring as soon as I install a... Look at that. The, it's so far away. The top of this shaft is so far away that it's foggy up there. And I don't, I don't even know if I have fog turned on. Or is that the void fog? Hmm, I wonder. Maybe one of these should be a staircase. Let's make this one a staircase mine shaft. Basically the same as a flat one, but we dig at this angle. I wonder how... I don't know, I, don't, I can't see far enough now. It is the Void Fog, I think. Let's we'll see if it does away as we move up. Uh, I don't know, it's not behaving much di much differently than the Distance Fog. Whatever. So, ooh, yeah, we're quite a distance deeper than that ravine now. I'd say about 20 blocks lower, I guess. Which is good. Puts us right in the middle of Diamond Territory. <laughs> I like it. Oh, you know what? I have water right here. That's convenient. I'm glad I put this here. <laughs> now watch when I'm digging... Oops! <laughs> Dirt. When I'm digging out the uh, bottom part to install the water, I'm going to hit lava or something. <laughs> it's going to be ridiculous. That would be my luck. Now I'm going to... Stop, children! What's that sound? Everybody look what's going down. Make this less likely for me to fall into and die by making it just a hole like that. Honestly, I probably should put a door over there too, but unfortunately I don't have one on me and there's no way to make it at this point on the ladder. Ooh, geez, don't fall off, man. Yeah, there goes the ravine. Quite a bit different, quite a bit deeper than the ravine. I think you should be able to hold spacebar to go up and down ladders. Or rather, you should be able to hold spacebar to go down, to, to go up ladders. That should just work. Okay, let's make an... Oh, jeez. <laughs> I did not mean to fall. <laughs> let's make an infinite source right over here, shall we? Right there, and right there. Okay, looks good. Now, is this one two? I want three. Just to be careful. I know that two is supposed to be enough to save you from a fall, but I have heard rumors that three is a better idea. Oops. I heard that you actually can die if you just only have two. And I don't want to die because I didn't take the proper precautions and do something that is as easy as putting two more buckets of water on top, you know? Oops, I just threw that one away. Derp. Get out there. You go there. Not like that. You go there. Alright, I'm going to leave this infinite source here. We'll just remember... Here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. We'll just leave it there, and if I ever need it, I can mine into it. But the way that the block is, I won't fall on it accidentally. Oh, look at the cobble I'm leaving in there. It's not like it matters. Alright. So, now... 
questions. Which way we go first? Which mine shaft? I uh, my bet is on the staircase. I'm gonna make this a three tall, so different than my other mine shaft. Because I want to have, I like to have, I don't like two tall staircases. Staircases that are two blocks tall, because the ceiling is too low and you hit your head when you're trying to jump up them, and when you're trying to climb up. Now the other bad thing about staircases is, as I was informed by a clever commenter, or rather, at least a knowledgeable one, you could lose your, ooh, cool, redstone. You lose your, oh, <laughs> your picks. Your hunger faster if you're jumping a lot, so... Look at this, we, we've dug not very far at all, and we've already hit coal, iron, and redstone. I like this. We're off to a good start here. Now we should be near the bedrock at this point, or should we be approaching it? It's almost to the null terminus. The terminus. That's what, that's, what, that's, that's what should replace the far lands, the terminus. I see bedrock down there now. Oh yeah, look at the void fog. Ooh. Ooh, particle effects, <laughs> and the bedrock and the poncho pack—they look kind of nice, I think. You see how I actually put up some effort in, so that when you have two look sitting next to each other like this, this line in between them is not really obvious. So you see how this white streak sort of continues through, and this black line here crosses the border. This white blob continues across. I didn't want you to look at it and say, ooh, like each one is an individual individual square. Some texture packs look good like that, but mine is too high res, so hopefully you guys like it the way it is. Anyway, let's continue mining. This is the primo primo depth for diamonds. I actually saw a an image that supposedly argued that the best height for diamonds was slightly above the bedrock, actually. I don't know what the... Uh, logic there is, but they only appear below a certain depth, and the, the I really don't know. That's far enough for me right there. Oh gosh, it's so dark with the the void fog really cuts out on the light. So maybe I'll just make a, a, a bedrock level room down here, and make the floor the height of the highest bedrock, which, if I remember correctly, is four? Uh, oh, well, it's six in this map. Interesting. Hmm. 6.6? .6? Does that make any sense at all? Why am I at a 0.6? 5.6? Why does my height have a 0.6 at the end? Usually it's a, like a, a round number, isn't it? I thought. Oh. Maybe I was wrong. What is the dirt doing all the way down here? It's probably holding a lava patch in. <laughs> More likely than not. Get up there. Oh, I wonder why it chose that wall. So the one I was looking at, at least facing towards. I'm gonna break my shovel and flinch. <laughs> like, do Look all the redstone. Very nice. We found a bunch of that already. Maybe I'll actually be able to make some useful contraptions. So yeah, I think this depth might not be the most efficient for searching for diamonds, and an open room concept mine is not an efficient mining strategy. So I'm going to pause this for now. And you can see on the map how close we are to our house laterally. On the mini-map up here. So you can see we're, we're only like the, the next chunk over. So those reeds are definitely still loaded. Because as I've stated, height does not matter for chunks. Chunks go all the way from the bedrock to the sky limit. So it doesn't matter how far above the reeds I am, as long as I'm in the, near them on the uh, ZX axis. Get some more iron. Very nice. Have you guys been watching Nintendo Capri Sun's playthrough of Simon's Quest? Or, excuse me, I think he's doing Castlevania 3. But, uh, <laughs> those Castlevania games look pretty crazy, in terms of their difficulty, I mean. Of course, that's what the N that's sort of what the NES was known for, wasn't it? All of those games were really tough. You guys know why video games were so difficult back in the day? I don't know if there's actually a unified theory on this, but it's sort of a recognized fact that games used to be a lot harder. And I think part of it is that they were so short. When you made a game that had to fit on an NES cart, 
you couldn't, you didn't have a lot of space. It wasn't like the DVD-sized, you know, gigs of space that you have on an Xbox or PS3 game of today. No, you didn't have very much memory at all to, to use. And so as a result, you had to, excuse me, as a result, you had to make the games difficult so that players would spend some time on it. Because if it was an easy game, what am I looking for? Oh, God. I hate when I open my inventory and just stare into it like I'm just looking into the fridge like there's fucking Narnia in there. Ugh, all right. Anyway. Yeah, they had to make them difficult so you could get some more playtime out of them. Because if they're too easy, you, you know, you, you get, in terms of the amount of content you get fed on there, like Contra had eight levels. And if you're really good at Contra, you can beat it in half an hour. And that's the whole game. That's all there is to it. And you've you've seen all the content. You've done all the side quests and all the main quests and all the Brotherhood shit. You know, just... It's not... Uh, they didn't have space for all these huge side quests and adventures and things. And so you had to really crank up the difficulty and make each level a memorable experience and unique. So you can think, like, in the, in the amount of space that they put on those discs... I think a lot of it was probably different, like, varying character art for different levels, varying music for different levels. I'm trying to make them distinct. Was that the sound of a spider dying? No, it's just a spider's sound. Ooh, if it's a spawner, I'd be very happy to find it. I, I need a spawner. Let's search him out. He's definitely this way. Still hear him in front of me. I hear a skeleton too. Must be a cave. Still right above me. I can't tell what side he's on. Wait, let me let me put some distance on this mine shaft so I can try and figure out where they're loudest. Okay, that's enough. Okay, I definitely gone past. So let's run back here. Okay. This is definitely louder here. Hmm, just about just about as loud there. I think it's a little bit quieter again over here. Okay, so somewhere between these two torches, I think, is where they are. So, which way do I want to go, left or right here? These mine shafts, it doesn't matter as long as I'll go the same way. All right, this way it is. So now I'm going to go this way for a bit, see if they get louder or quieter. I mean, if I go far enough, they'll get quieter, but eventually we'll clue in here. Okay, they're getting quieter now, so I've probably gone past them. And at this depth, near the bedrock, I, I doubt that they're... I think they're probably above me. Okay, so let's see, left or right? Okay, left. Right above me here, okay. So this is about the extent of how far they are. Because they're, they're right in the middle of this, these two torches. So they're basically right above me now, as far as I can guess, so... Let's try and dig our way up. Now this is horrible at this depth, trying to go up. Because every block I punch away could potentially be a lava pool, or... I could actually find them and they jump into my head, you know, so... Wait, there they are. I just punched into it. That was lucky. Jeez. Give me some cover, man. There we go. Alright, so now I know what depth they're at. Let's see if I can... Get like a murder hole thing going here. Clear you out of the way. <laughs> Excuse me, pardon me, picking up all the particles. Yes, yes, you're a spider and very scary, we know. Alright, so I seem to have skirted their mine shaft very nicely. So let's go over here and go up a little bit. Oh, hello. What is this? I've already been here. What the heck am I mining into? Hee hee hee. Tricky tricky. Can I see you guys out there? Is this actually where they are? I don't see them. I certainly hear them. Put a torch down. Thank you. Couldn't reach any of those spaces. 
Hmm. I wonder. I can't get up there. Eh. Oh god, they're loud now. How did I get to this cave before? Why is this lit up? Ooh, jeez, they're loud. Yeah, they're right above me now. It must have come from here. Oh, well, yeah, okay, interesting. So this is going to be nice and circular, isn't it? I'm going to come out in my ravine again. This is when I was looking for that... Uh, this is the mess that I dug when I was looking for the slime. Yeah, I never did find him. Well, it looks like I'm hearing that same space again. Where these guys are. And they're definitely right over here. So, need to get up from here. Ooh, yeah, they sound pretty loud over here. Ooh! Oh, wow, I've gone through two picks already. That's fine, I've been picking up plenty of iron with them, so I'll stay ahead in that front. As far as resources are concerned, this is fairly sustainable. Where are we on the map? Let's not get too far from the reeds. I believe at that distance we're okay, so I'm fine with it. Come on, be a spawner for one or the other. Just like, just caves are alright, but... I really, I really need to find a, a, a spawner. I just, I want that experience grinder, man. That's going to be a wonderful thing to have. He's very loud right now. He's definitely above me still, though. I think he's probably in that damn ravine that we were around in before. Just punch the ceiling out, see if they fall in here. <laughs> Jeez, he's loud. Oh my goodness! All right. He's angry. Angry Spider-Man. Spider-Man? No. Not that Spider-Man. Skeletons? Ooh, yes. Very spooky. Spooky darkness nearby. Gosh, they're like right on top of me. If they were zombies, that would be really loud. Still not up there, huh? Wow, where the heck are these guys? I'm gonna end up making a mess of this cave. And all of a sudden, they're going to fall in on me. <laughs> Alright, cut it out. Stop it. Stop it. Stop mining randomly and listen to the right from here. Okay. Definitely right side. Okay, so this way. Now face this way and listen. Le left side. So over here. At least in, they're in that direction in space. They could still be above me. Or below me at this point. I've gone up quite a bit, haven't I? Oh my. Alright, let's take one of these flat look around things, shall we? We'll do these, at, do these at different heights and see if we bump into their cave. I wonder what the most efficient way of finding a source of, of a sound like this is. I guess I don't see them at this depth. Let's move in a little bit more. Keep looking. I want, to be, I want to be very, very sure that they're not right on top of me here. Of course, knowing my luck, they're probably right on top of my head, and I don't even know it. Is that a cave over there? I think it's just dark. There we go. Okay. Yeah, just dark. Wow, I'm already halfway through the, this next iron pick. Gosh, I had no idea that these were... these weren't. I thought these were more resilient than, I, than they actually are, I guess. I know I'm missing iron. Please don't... You don't have to tell me. I know. <laughs> There's a lot of it around, so... I'm not too too bad on iron right now. I'll take that one block. It's convenient. What have I got? 13 in my inventory right now? That's not, that's not bad. Let's grab this before the iron pick runs out. Just to make it convenient for us. And there's more down here. Always mine the block next to it. Make sure you're checking for lava and stuff. Oh, more iron over here, too. I right, shall take that off your hands. Thank you very much, cave. <laughs> we thank you, O Lord, that in thy mercy... Oh, wait, come on, then! What? <laughs> Your arm's off! <laughs> uh, great movie. Great movie. Did I tell you guys that I went to see Spamalot? The live theater version of Monty Python's uh, Holy Grail. Search for the Holy Grail. Monty, it's both Monty Python and the Holy Grail, but the play is called Spamalot. Where the hell are these guys? Of course, they took off they took off the nameplates from F3, didn't they? So I can't cheat and look for them that way. 
Alright, I'll try to dig this little space here. I'm going to stop and do my sound again and see if I can detect the direction. At this point, I suspect them that they're right above me. So, but of course, I've been saying that for a while now, haven't I? Alright, let's listen. Okay, the skeleton's definitely to the left. Definitely to the left. Alright, face to the left. Still left. Still left again. Now he's on the right. Okay. They're like right up here then. Ooh, Jesus, don't dig that close to your head. <laughs> what are you doing, man? Surely you know better than to dig straight up. You know, hardcore LP. Ooh. There goes my last pick. I got this diamond pick, but I don't have enough diamonds to be uh, doing this. How deep are we? 27. Yeah, I could be. I could run into diamonds theoretically, and I do have enough for another pick upstairs, don't I? I think just enough for another pick. Oh, come on, guys! Where, where the heck are these guys? Oh man, you can. But the thing is, you can hear their sound. I think from farther away than you sh than you should than you should be able to, because these guys could be. Lord knows where, and I'd still be able to hear him. Oh, man. Okay, definitely over this way. Oh, I thought I saw a skeleton up there for a second. Guess it was just my imagination. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go up, dig around like this. He's definitely to the right now. Is that the place I just was? Yes. Okay. I was <laughs> like, this isn't a cave I'm running into, it's just my own damn cave. I hear water off to the left, too. There's definitely something around here somewhere. And damn it, I'm gonna find it. Oh, you guys. Wait a minute. I hit something else here. What is this? It's already lit up, so it can't be the right way. Yeah, it's just some other place I've already been. Okay. Well, hell. That spider's definitely to my left. Let's figure out what cave that is over there. If that's where I'm hearing these guys. Oh, oh, it is. Oh, there's a skeleton. <laughs> okay, well, we found them. That's good. But apparently they're already in a place I've been before. Don't like being shot in the face. So please stop doing that. Thank you. Now that I know where they are, I don't need to be coming out at the wrong height. So, how about a murder hole? What is this? Oh yeah, I got I was so close to them before. Oh my goodness. Oh Jesus! That guy's got good timing. <laughs> like as soon as the hole was open he shot me. I shall outclick you. My skeletal friend. <laughs> you gonna shoot your buddy there in front of him? Let's do this, punk. They are, they're shooting each other, aren't they? Those idiots. <laughs> you guys are such clowns. Oh, now he's looking at me. <laughs> he killed his friend. You bastard, get out of here. Now where's that spider? Spoiler. Here goes nothing. He fell and died. It's just the same damn ravine I've been in before. Disappointment. Disappointment. Well, good to know that there's still enemies spawning in this ravine for me to get killed by. Uh, sorry, lily pads. I'd rather have string. Alright. Well, shit. <laughs> That's all I've got to say after that long hunt for something I'd already found. How disappointing. I wonder how many of you guys realized what was happening there and were screaming at me in the comments like, You idiot! You're right next to the ravine! Don't you remember your, how close your mine shaft was to it? Now I gotta figure out how I like to get out of here. Guess it was back down here. I've already got plenty of redstone, so there's no short on that. I came out from... What the balls? I mean, it's easy to see how I could get confused. <laughs> like, what the freak? Like, which way are we facing, you know? But I heard those guys in the ravine. 
way up there, like up around that spiral area, from down here in my mine shaft. I guess the lesson there is <laughs> don't follow the sounds because they're they're probably too far away. All right, well, unfortunately, no diamonds in this episode. A hell, a lot of cobble, but no diamonds. So, I think. Well, hang on. Let me. Where are we getting to the end of this episode here? So hopefully this one was a little more directed, you guys enjoyed this, and I'm going to confirm, before we end the episode, that we have been close enough to the reeds, because after 30 minutes, we should see some change. Hopefully they have grown a little bit, so... If they haven't grown at all, or if they have grown very, very little, that would be a clear sign that I am too far away, and that I need to move my mineshaft closer, or at least dig towards the house. So, being careful, as usual. Wouldn't it suck if I popped out in my mine shaft and had a skeleton fall on my head? Like, what? How did you get here? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Anybody remember what was behind that cobble right there? I don't remember. Was that was that a cave I blocked off, or was that just a place where I accidentally dug out into the wall? Uh, whatevers. It doesn't make any, that doesn't really work, does it? People say whatevs, but nobody says whatevers. Uh, well, either way. Let's get the heck up into our house and see how our reeds are doing. Uh, I guess they've been growing. My oh my. It appears that we may have had some bad luck in terms of their growth speed, but I don't know. Let's see. The wheat has certainly been growing. This is the one I planted when we right when we left, and it's it's grown. Of course, it might have been a little bit closer to the to it, was it? I don't know. Anyway, this is ready at three, so down it comes. Well, of course, I don't have enough space to carry it. <laughs> Pick the reeds back up. Get, get in my hot bar. There you go. Oh, look at that! Two reeds. We've got two reeds from the farm. Yes. It only took half an hour. <laughs> uh, no skeletons on the roof. There's a creeper out there. All right, I think that's it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Minecraft Hardcore.